Elise Pickett with the Urban Harvest and today we are going to be talking about a very common issue here in Florida vegetable gardens, powdery mildew and how to get rid of it. But first let's figure out uh, what powdery mildew looks like in the garden so that you know whether that's the issue that you are actually dealing with. Powdery mildew or downy mildew is going to show up as white patches and splotches on the leaves of your plants. Um, what differentiates it from um, like pest damage or insect damage on the plants is the fact that it's fuzzy and if you rub it, it will actually rub off. Basically what you're seeing when you see that white powdery substance on your plants is the spores, the fungus. Um, so you can tap the plant or rub the plant and you will actually see the spores rub off or fly off into the air. That's how you know you are dealing with downy or powdery mildew. So you can see here, this is the base of the vine and um, I've been preoccupied of late, so I didn't get out here to treat or manage this in any way uh, for quite some time. And it, uh, powdery mildew, downy mildew, any of the mildews will actually take out your plants. It will kill them. It's not like a, uh, you might see reduced yields or, you know, whatever. It will kill your plants if left unchecked. Um, so it's definitely something that you want to manage in the garden. Um, one thing to also note is that if you do have a lot of leaves or debris that have fallen around the base of the plants um, because of them dying from the, the mildew, um, make sure you collect all of that and dispose of that, not in your compost pile, um, but in the trash um, to make sure that you're getting rid of any of the spores. Because if you treat the plants and you still have a bunch of the leaf litter with the spores on it around the base of the plants, in a matter of no time, it's going to reinfect the plants. So Earth's ally uh, disease control is what I have found to be effective in the garden that is not that um, homemade milk um, water mixture. Um, it is not animal based. It is actually citric acid. That's the main ingredient in it. And they have done a, a number of studies um, to show that it is effective at treating mildew, any sort of fungal issues. So like black spot, if you have roses, that kind of thing. Um, it is good with the fungal and disease issues that will pop up in the garden. With any other foliar spray, it is a good idea to always make sure you do it uh, when there is shade or late in the evening so that you're not burning your plants. Um, this is on the east side of my house, so even though it is late afternoon, I am still able to safely spray the plants. You will see results from this within 24 hours, so it's a very fit, quick and effective means of control. So what we're going to do is we are going to spray today and come back tomorrow to show you um, how effective it's been at treating the powdery mildew on my bean and squash plants. So when you are spraying the leaves, especially um, with um, any sort of mildews, it's going to be on the tops and bottoms of the leaves. If you only spray one side, or if you only spray the one affected leaf, you're not going to get as good a results as if you spray the entire plant. So one thing with disease control and powdery mildew, because it's spread by spores, which can be airborne, so heavy breezes, storm coming through, your hands touching one plant, moving to another, Never just do the affected plant, even if its neighboring plant looks perfectly fine right now. Um, it will likely still have those spores on them and will start showing um, signs of issues shortly after. So this is not one to only treat very specific. This is more of a broad treatment. If you choose to treat, you need to treat all of the plants in the area so that you effectively control the problem. And the other thing, as you can see, it was spraying down on me a little bit, but this is non-toxic, perfectly safe. If I wanted to, I could harvest the produce immediately. There's no ill effects to people or bees, um, pollinators. So this one is nothing to worry about. 
So they have a concentrate that you can purchase uh, to treat this little trellis and the, I don't know, 10 or so plants, vines that I have here. Um, this was a new bottle and it's maybe a quarter, maybe a little bit less than a quarter that I use to treat these plants. And if you are going to have to reapply or you have a very large issue in the garden, um, the concentrate really comes in handy because then you're not having to constantly buy these um, disposable bottles. Buy it once, refill it, saves you money, saves plastic, saves the environment. So the concentrate is a really nice thing that they have um, and it's easy to do. You just mix with water. So if you want to learn more about these products, I will have a link to Earth's Ally website uh, down below in the show notes. So you can check out more on the details with their testing, um, their be safe policy and all of that. And if you were interested in picking up some of these products to have on hand uh, for any issues that arise in your garden, I do have Amazon links down below as well to purchase these products. Um, and when you do so through those links, it does help to support the work that I do at no additional cost to you. Uh, when you're purchasing, I would highly consider the concentrate just because it, from an environmental perspective, um, not only are you saving money going that route, but you are also reducing the amount of plastics that are going around. So definitely um, consider one or both um, when purchasing the product. If you found this helpful, make sure to head on down below and click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so you're alerted every time a new video comes out on Florida vegetable gardening. Happy gardening.